soon we're going to define the stability of the fixed point. Before we do that, let me make a few motivating remarks related to our population models from section 2.1. In section 2.1, we looked at a logistic model and we looked at what we called the extinction doomsday model. And both of these models had a fixed point at zero, representing extinction, and then another fixed point. In the logistic model, we called the second fixed point the carrying capacity. In the extinction doomsday model, we didn't give this second fixed point any kind of special name. But here are the signs of the derivatives. We did this analysis already. And now let's try to understand fixed points in real world terms. Suppose we're looking at some real world animal population. Well, mathematically, in both of these cases, if the population is equal to this value, the population stays at that value forever. That's what happens mathematically. It's not what happens in the real world. Every real world model is subject to constant random perturbations that cause the value of the population to move around in ways that the model doesn't predict. So for example, neither of these models say anything about the weather, neither of these models explicitly address food sources, both of these models assume that the death rates will be constant. In the real world, maybe you have an especially harsh winter and your death rate suddenly increases. That's not predicted by the model, but it's something that can happen in the real world. So with the statistic model, the population that say is sitting around the carrying capacity when an unexpectedly harsh winter strikes and suddenly this population goes down. Again, it's not predicted by the model, but it's clearly something that can happen. Well, the logistic model, though, says that if our population is driven down unexpectedly by a harsh winter or an outbreak of disease or anything like that, the population will then rebound, having been pushed down here by random factors, it will then go up to the carrying capacity. Down here, we see a very different behavior. If an unexpectedly harsh winter drives the population below this number, then the population does not rebound. The population continues to the left, and the animals go extinct. 
So even though both of these models have these similar looking fixed points, these fixed points are actually very different. In the real world, a population under the logistic model will stay near the fixed point. It will occasionally be driven off the fixed point by random perturbations, but it will then return to it. Here, we could never see this fixed point in the real world. Because in the real world, the population will inevitably be pushed around by random happenstance. And once the population is pushed off the fixed point, it goes away from the fixed point. So this is a fixed point that we could see in the real world, populations around this number. This is a fixed point that we can't see in the real world. In the next video, we're going to formalize this idea mathematically by saying that this fixed point and this fixed point have different stabilities.